YouTube channel. My name is Veronika and I've been playing piano since the age of four and now I am 10 years old. Last time we learned about the hand. This time we are going to learn about the importance of the touch. Our hands and fingers should always be relaxed. Let's hear how our fingers would sound if they were to be stiff. That's a little small. And what about the hand? Let's take something bigger. Oh, I don't throw this at home. Don't be a stick man. Play like a human. Relax your hands. This guy that's sitting on the piano here is Frederick Chopin. He knew quite a bit about the touch. Some people even called him the poet of the piano. Look how many pieces he composed over his lifetime. <laughs> okay, that's heavy. Just give me a second. Now, let's get back to the topic. Frédéric Chopin said to use this part for the thumb by the outer side of the nail to play the piano and for the fingertips, these parts. The thumb should be playing on the edge of the white keys and the pinky should be playing as close as possible to the black keys. Pinkies are very important. The voicing of the treble and of the bass depends on how they're shaped. Let's think of it this way. As if you were creating a tunnel for a choo-choo train to go under. See? It goes smoothly under. And if you were to make the pinky collapsed and turn your hand, your music will crash. Last time, we talked about the distal phalanges. They should never be like this. Instead, they should be like this. Okay, if you're having that problem, let me show you how to fix it. This exercise is called the ooh, ooh, monkey swing. Today we've learned about the importance of the touch. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Now that we've talked a little bit about Chopin today, let's hear a little bit of Chopin.
Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.